a creamy cauliflower soup with seared scallops and we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of truffle oil and uh, chives. So we're gonna start off by making our soup. We're gonna take a yellow onion and we're gonna cut it in half. And onions are one of the hardest things actually to cut. When I went to culinary school, we had a whole class on how to cut onions and how to cut different vegetables. Um, so you're gonna take off the skin, but don't cut off the end piece here, the butt that kind of holds it together. So you'll peel off the skin and then you're gonna go and cut in towards the end, the little handle that she was talking about over there. And you're gonna make your cuts kind of as big as you want your chunks to be for your onions. So you'll cut inwards and then you'll cut down. So I want a small dice, so I'm gonna get about a quarter of an inch cut. And then, once you've done it that way, then you'll go through and actually make your small dice. And so while I'm cutting these onions, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my burner on low for my soup pot. You don't want it to get too hot because we wanna sweat the onions as opposed to caramelizing the onions. We don't want any color on it because we're gonna have a white soup at the end of this. The recipe that I passed out, I said to make it with butter, but you could just as easily substitute oil for it, so I just have a little bit of canola oil. So I put in about two tablespoons of oil. And then I'll add my onions. And you want to hear a little sizzle when it goes in. You definitely want a hot pan when you start. We'll just kind of stir that around a little bit. And like I said, you don't want it to caramelize, which is the browning of sugars. Um, you just want it to sweat, which means that the onions will cook and they'll just kind of let their water come out. And I've already cut up a head of cauliflower. So we'll go ahead and add that to our pot as well. Just the little florets, you'll cut off all of the, um, oh, I have a couple of the little leaves in there. And we'll let that cook down a little bit. And we're also gonna add a potato, and that's gonna just thicken up the soup a little bit once we puree it. So the potato, I've already peeled it, but I kept it in cold water, because you don't want the potato to oxidize. If you leave it peeled and just out in the open, it'll start to turn brown. So as you can see, everything in here is white so far. We're gonna have a nice, pretty soup. So we'll just let that cook for a couple of minutes. And I brought some vegetable stock already made. Um, in our vegetable stock, we use celery, carrots, and onions. So I'll turn that up just a little bit because now I'm about to add my stock to it. And your stock should just about cover every vegetable in there. That way it'll all cook together. But while we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and start our scallops. I have U10 scallops. And so U10 just means that there's under 10 scallops in a pound. Like if you were to buy 10, 20 scallops, there would be 10 to 20 scallops in a pound. So what Johanna is doing now is she's removing what is called the foot. It's a little part that sticks off the side of the scallop. It's very easy to see. And it's just a little bit tough. You don't necessarily want it thin and it peels right off. You don't need a knife or anything like that. It just comes right off and it, it's really easy to see. So it's you want, though, your scallops to be very dry before you sear them. So you're going to take either paper towels. I use just towels sometimes. And you'll go ahead and uh, just kind of press down on them, dry them off a little bit because they're not gonna sear if they have that liquid on the outside of them already. And some people will call it caramelizing them, but in actuality, it's called the Maillard reaction. You're actually browning the proteins of the meat, as opposed to browning the sugars like you would with the onions or another vegetable. And then I'm gonna season it a little bit. I have a mixture right here, which we use on a lot of different foods. Um, it's salt, pepper, garlic, granulated garlic, um, and a little bit of cayenne pepper is in this one. So I have gone ahead and seasoned both sides of the scallops. I'm gonna go ahead and lay them in the pan. You hear the nice sizzle as it drops. 
and you don't want to touch them. You want to just leave them there. I know that it's really tempting to just like pick it up and look underneath, but it's forming that crust and you don't want to just, if you pick it up too soon, it's just going to break that crust right off and it's going to be stuck in the pan. So I can see that we're getting a, a nice sear on there. I can kind of see it forming around the edges. So I can pick up on the side and then we have a beautiful seared scallop here. So you don't want to do too many. You don't want to crowd them completely into the pan because then all, when all the liquid starts to come out of them, it's going to mess up your sear. And our soup over here is coming along nicely. I'm just going to turn it down so that it's simmering. And while we finish that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to chop our garnish, which is some fresh chives. Chives are really difficult sometimes to cut because it's really easy to get these long strings of chives. You just need to tuck in your fingers and uh, make sure you cut all the way through. Bring it all the way down and kind of slide your knife over so that you know that you have a full cut. That way you get those beautiful little toppers for your soup. So we'll go ahead and ladle our soup into our Vita Prep. So the Vita Prep is um, just like a very high powered blender. Um, you could use the blender at your house. You could also use, um, a lot of people have the burr mixers, which is just a handheld mixer, and it'll do the same thing. You'll just kind of stick it into your soup um, and just move around until all the chunks are gone. Uh, and I'm gonna do a little bit of truffle oil over the top, which will be a nice finish. And you can buy truffle oil um, at most grocery stores now. I think even Food Lion probably carries some form of truffle oil. And so we're gonna let that go until it's, all of the chunks are out completely and we have a nice creamy soup. And then after this is finished, we're actually gonna add some heavy cream to it. So I'm gonna heat up the heavy cream first. It kind of, when you heat up milks or half and half or cream, it brings out a sweetness, uh, which is why if you have a latte versus just adding some milk to your coffee, it has a different flavor. And then after we um, add the heavy cream to our soup, we're gonna season it with just a little bit of salt and white pepper. So you can either mix the cream into the blender with your soup, or after you're done, you can put it back in a pot and then mix the cream with a whisk into it. And then you'll just season it to taste with a little bit of the white pepper and the salt. And the great thing about the white pepper versus the dark pepper is that it has a much milder flavor and the color. I mean, if you're trying to keep a white soup, it doesn't have those big black flecks kind of spread throughout.